to another episode of the Tempest Rising podcast. This is episode 38 and it's all about motivation. Um, this is sparked from a post I was reading the other day. Um, it was a post in a group and it was a really well written post. Um, there was a line about how we are all literally made of stardust and that we all hold the same power that creates planets and galaxies and it was really well written um, going on to explain how we're all a tiny piece of the planet, we're all interconnected and it's all on us as individuals to do the work to make the world a better place in spite of all of that. It was really well written, it was a great read, you know, and it, and it gave me a nice feeling as I was reading it. Um, let me take these glasses off because it's shining on the screen. But beyond that, there was nothing which is generally the case for most inspirational works whether that is written or spoken um, video you know speeches anything after reading the post my thought was great nice but so what and don't get me wrong i've written and will probably continue to write my share of pieces like that but the reality of it is those kinds of speeches might make you feel better for a moment but so does food and alcohol and sex and drugs and all kinds of other things whatever it is you choose to turn to when you want to feel something other than feeling like crap and we know that when we do that over and over we become immune to the effects so we need more and more and we end up with an addiction most people particularly the ones who are looking to be do and have more out of life end up addicted to the notion of motivation so rather than the other vices, they end up addicted to trying to find motivation. They're always looking for that quick hit, something to push them to action, um, you know, wasting time on all this fanciful fluff, trying to find a reason to do what they need to do. When in reality, if what you do on a daily basis lights you up, you don't need motivation because you already have that reason, you already have a why. At the end of the day, motivation is nothing more than a quick fix. And while quick fixes have their place, they don't create change. They don't facilitate change. If anything, they can become a procrastination device and an excuse not to do something. And as with all feelings, motivation will come and go, which means that basing your results on it is a surefire way to limit yourself and to limit the results that you're going to get because real change requires work you know it, it's not sexy it takes effort irrespective of your motivation level it's training the mind and the emotions and the energy to work together synergistically to achieve your purpose um, when those things are at odds life gets very difficult and all the motivation in the world is not going to fix that for you You've probably noticed that when you're tired, your thoughts start to become negative. When your thoughts start to get negative, your feelings start to get negative. You need to create a balance. Um, and that won't come from watching a video or reading a post and feeling like you can conquer the world for five minutes. You need to be able to feel like that daily. And that has absolutely nothing to do with motivation. So instead of searching for that little bit of inspiration, that momentary spark, I'd urge you instead to commit to doing the work of training yourself to become more so that you can have that inspiration and those feelings on a daily basis instead of finding the need to, to go out and search for them outside of yourself. When you train yourself and you have a purpose and you're aligned to what you want, those things will already be inside of you. You don't have to look for speeches or videos or podcasts or anything like that to find that motivation. When you're abundantly clear on what you want, and you're deeply balanced, you can just do what you need to do on a daily basis. You don't need a passing fancy. You don't need motivation. If you can get out of chaos, get clear on what you want and start creating, things will change. So as a call to action today, I want you to use the link that I'm about to put up in the comments and book a free discovery call with me so that we can talk through your need for motivation, all of the things that you require, I'm just putting the link up now for you, it's in there for you, um, all of the things that you need, okay, we'll figure out what's holding you back and I'll talk you through exactly what it takes to actually have it all as a modern woman using a very simple three-step system. At the end of the call you'll have absolute clarity around what to do next, so follow that link that's up in the comments, 
book yourself a slot and remember to fill in the application. If there's no application, then there's no call. But this is an amazing opportunity and I don't give up my time to just anyone. So please take advantage of this while it's available. Um, I'm going to be back on Thursday with a brand new video series tackling all of the key issues that you guys have told me about recently. So all of those things that you're struggling with as a modern woman. So make sure you're following uh, me on Facebook and Instagram so that you can make the most of those. But other than that, get on and book your call and I will speak to you all very soon.